I'm Rebecca Hargrove. I'm about two and a half years out of surgery. This is my picture before surgery. I want to congratulate everybody for being here two and a half years ago. I was where you're at today. And listening to her story just brought back so many memories of what we've accomplished in such a short time. And she's right, you know, you have to be ready to do the surgery. I wasn't ready five or seven years ago. Um, I did my surgery when I was 40 something, you know, and I'm still 40 something. So it doesn't matter how old you are, it's when you're ready. Um, I am so grateful for Dr. DePierre and his staff. I just found out that this coming Tuesday is my last test to see if I'm gonna be a match for a kidney donor for my niece who has kidney failure and she's 28. She came back from Iraq and she had kidney failure and liver failure at the same time. So, but I'm really excited about that. So that's what he was talking about. One thing that I like to mention is to stay on your vitamins, all your vitamins you're supposed to take. When I buy my vitamins, I date them. That way I know if I'm on track with my vitamins. I also have a weekly little box and I put all my vitamins in a day container. So every morning I take the proper vitamins so that I know that I'm going to be okay. On the side of my refrigerator, I have Dr. DePierre's regimen of the vitamins you should be taking. I have the price sheet and I have highlighted what I ordered so that when I'm out I can call his office and say, this is what I need. Can you have it ready for me? And they always do, they're great. And you know, every now and then I type up a little page of things that I've accomplished or done or want to meet or something. So I have a goal to do. And I never knew that my goal in life was gonna to be to save my niece, which is a great, 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 great thing, a gift of gift. So I think as Dr. DePierre and his staff have given me a gift to regain my life, I'm gonna be able to give a gift back to somebody else. And if I could change one person's life at a time, I would sit with everybody and say, hey, you know, let's talk. And when I go to the mall and I'm walking, all I want to do is pull people aside and say, oh gosh, I have a story to tell you. You know, if I could help you, if I could do one thing for you, it's to tell you that you should love yourself first. You shouldn't love your spouse first. You shouldn't love your parents first. You have to learn to love yourself first. So if you can't love yourself first, nobody else can love you for yourself. Whatever you do, you have to do for yourself. Yeah, my boys were, I think they were five and seven when I had my surgery. And now we run together, we play ball together, we swim together. I'm not ashamed to get into a bathing suit and really go swimming, you know. <laughs> I think I have like 20 of them now. So I'm a shopaholic just like her. So I did go from like size 20 to size four. And even now I'm like, oh my God, today when I was getting dressed, so my husband, I said, I'm getting so fat. I said, I need to lose weight. He goes, how much do you want to lose? I said, oh, about 10 pounds, you know. I said, I've gained some weight back. And that's just something that happens. You lose weight, you gain weight, you lose weight, you gain weight. And I said, oh, I thought I was going to lose weight before the transplant, you know. So the, I don't think you're ever really satisfied with something because that's just how we are in human nature, you know. But until you learn to love yourself, you're not going to have the surgery work for you. And you have to be really diligent. I go to most of the monthly meetings. Cindy. Um, Ink Pen is a coordinator. I love her just like a sister. She's great. Everybody is family around here. You pick the best doctors. So good luck.